Okay, the 2015 non-calculator paper, and as always, starting off with, um, you know, early on in the paper, we're looking at a straight line question. So, uh, find the equation of the tangent to the curve, so, well, that, you know, we're throwing, we're throwing a curve ball on this, it is kind of a straight line, in the sense we're looking for the equation of a tangent, I can just use my pen, equation of a tangent, and when we see the word tangent, we really should be thinking differentiation as well. So the first part of this, you know, to visualise it, you've got your polynomial, maybe it's doing something like this, and our tangent will be going off, you know, maybe like that or something, yeah, so meets the line once and goes off. It could be anywhere, it could be along here, we don't know where it is, all we know is that it's x is um, negative 2. And the question is trying to get us to say, okay, well, to get my gradient, I'm going to have to differentiate, okay, so straight line as always, point gradient. Equation. I'm just going to take my pen a wee pen with me. Uh, my point is when x is negative 2, and I'll come back to the y. And the gradient, okay, y is 2x cubed plus 3. And to get my gradient, I'll differentiate dy by dx. Now remember, when we're differentiating, x squared becomes 2x because I multiply the power and the coefficient and then take away 1. So in this case, 2 times 3 is 6, take away 1 is squared, and the 3 disappears. So to work out my gradient, I'm going to substitute in my negative 2. So negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 6 is going to give me 24. So I know my gradient, that's fantastic. I almost know a point, don't quite know why though. How do I find y? Substitute in. So I'll take my original equation, and I'm going to substitute in negative 2. Fantastic. Tell me why he, my favourite joke. And that's going to come out as, what's that, negative 16 over there plus the 2. So I've written 3 there, sorry. Um, negative 16 plus the 3. So that's going to come out as negative 13. Fantastic. So I'll just put that in a different colour because I want it out. So there's my negative 13. And now I'm ready to go. My general equation, y minus b mx minus a, and don't be a hero, you know, label them up, a and b, don't make, leave it to chance on the day, you know, so take away two negatives, make a positive, my gradient's 24, and my a, again, that makes a positive, so I've got y plus 13 is equal to 24x plus 48, and then get everything onto one side, so take away the 13, so that's going to give me 35. That is a 3, I promise. And we're done. And that is also an X, I promise. So let's look at the marking scheme. Where have we got our points for? First mark was starting to differentiate. So that's very good. Um, and then getting the, the gradient was our second mark. The Y coordinate was our third mark. And finally, that. So not bad for four marks. And early on in the paper, it probably will be a straight line question. That seems to be how they're laid out. You probably start spotting these patterns yourselves. PG, I recommend for that. And you either have two points to work out the equation of a line, or you were given a point and a gradient. In this case, you have to differentiate to get the gradient. So sometimes you don't spot these things, but if you lay out your PGE and you say, right, well, I've got one point, so I'm going to have to work out a gradient somehow, you know, start to click, oh, wait a minute, how do I do that? You know, so just take your time, you know, go through the story, you know, PGE, and eventually these things will come. So don't get too, too stressed out, you know, about... Um, working out what the question is. If you start going through the paces with the, with the buzzwords, you should start to figure out and piece it all together. Okay, so I hope that was a helpful question too.